Hey there, it's Audio Dam on OneAvenue.tv. Good. Hey, hey guys, how are you guys doing? We're doing great, thanks. Yeah. How are you doing? We're good, we're good. How, where are you guys right now? In LA. In LA? Yeah. Nice. You guys are not that far. We, we're in San Francisco. Oh, oh cool. sweet. Yeah, yeah, we need to go there one day. Everyone keeps telling us how beautiful it is there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's really, you, you guys should love it over here. So, thank you for being with us on One on One Avenue. And um, we want to start off with congratulations uh, with your first tour that you guys have started. The it's your first U.S. tour, right? Yeah, actually, it yeah, was the yeah first U.S. tour, and and all the places it was our first time there as well. So nice, exciting times for us. So, how do you guys feel about that? Like now, you guys are touring, and you know, you guys have started off with. Well, that's, that's that's awesome because it's like it's one of the most beautiful parts of, of our job, I would say. Yeah. When the yeah when, when 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 the day comes where you reach the people like face yeah. to face directly, make that is people, awesome. Yeah. Make people groove and smile during your yeah. uh, doing, you know you playing and, your music. That's you know. And amazing. there were even some 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 fans that already heard our stuff on the radio, which was an amazing feeling. Yeah. Like we weren't <laughs> aware of that already. Some radio stations are playing our songs, and. <laughs> Yeah. And so they, they already knew the songs and they loved the live versions and were dancing and and, and we we met some of our fans and it was awesome yeah. hanging out with Thanks. them. Thanks. Such Thanks. a great feeling. So so here's this thing. You came up with your first single which was uh, Lights Out, right? Mm -hmm. What really inspired the song? Um actually it was a girl. I I would I will always say that like fifty percent of, of the lyrics, you know, of this song is like um, a true, you know, story that happened to me, and like the rest is just a story, you know. <laughs> and um, you know, it's about this girl that I couldn't get off, couldn't get out of my head, and she she just turned my lights out. She just, you know, my my life was in serious, you know, uh, 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 confusion. So I I wrote this song to kind of, you know, to kind of gain control of the situation, or you know. You know what I mean? Like to kind of okay, I, I have to get this off my off my head, off my chest. So um, you know, it's yeah. Actually, it was a, as far as I know, it was a pretty pretty quick thing. Like he did this, yeah, um, he did this acoustic demo of that song, mm -hmm. a really slow version, really cool song, and um, it was like it was finished the way it was. Yeah. And then in the rehearsal room, it was also like, you know what? It's such a short, um, how to say short, tiny, lovely piece of a song. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's just don't make it complicated. So we did a real fast arrangement, played it two times, in three the studio, times. Yeah, really. like, so I don't know. And then we said like, well, let's see, either we take one of these, of these takes, takes or not. Um, Maybe he will make it on the album or not. Let's see. And as we kept working on it and added more and more choir stuff and added added more guitars, and added tambourines. Yes. Like, oh, this is going really somewhere. <laughs> so, so, will your fans ever get to hear the acoustic version, the slower version? Oh yeah, the, 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 actually, there's an acoustic version on 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 Vivo and YouTube of Lights Out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is also, you know, which kind of reflects the the like yeah. style of the song when back when it was just written you know mm -hmm. it's kind of more of a, like yes. a songwriting demo yeah so how did you guys came up with the name audio dam like how did the name basically originate because when i heard it for the first time i'm like oh this seems to be a really cool rock band but then i heard you guys like pop alternative it makes and i'm like wow that's a pretty different tune it's like something that the industry needs to look forward to like the new origin coming out so how did you guys came up with the name audio dam Actually, I like. Sorry, first of all, I like your interpretation of the name because that's yeah. what that was my intention. I hope that people get it that way. Like you know, it's kind of audio damn. Like it's a clash. It's yeah. whatever, and mm -hmm. that's yeah. also what we're kind of trying to do because we're um, we're not trying. We never try to make rock. We never try to make pop or soul or whatever. We just wanted to make. To see what's the coolest thing for us, what feels the best, yeah, and feels great, absolutely and while playing and whatever it is, then yeah. And we love pop music, we love R and B music, and mm -hmm. also like heavy rock music. So um, 
just those those things just combined kind of kind of naturally a little bit on purpose maybe but most mostly like it just happened you know and I think the hooks the hooks are like the the clue that's what I thought from the beginning of it might be the clue who's tying it all kind of together yeah. mm -hmm. it was an, a constant hook machine it's running around all day <laughs> yeah. and 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 that's kind of we just love hooks which great is, pop hooks yeah which is and like, However, wherever yeah. you go from there, and mm. so you guys are on your first U.S. tour. You guys came all the way from Germany, and you guys signed to Epic Records. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tell us the feeling. the The feeling of you guys are making it, and now you guys are touring the United States. This is their first tour. Tell us how many shows have you guys performed? Like, give us a scoop that what you guys have been doing. But like, you know, everything, <laughs> everything we want to know. Yeah. Um, where to start? Actually, as we're starting, starting like to settle like these days in in in, in LA here, um, it's it's getting more and more like enjoyable. You know what I mean? Because it's been it's been super busy and it's it's been such a cool ride for us and and so amazing to be able to do this because we never imagined that that would happen someday. It was kind of that's the, the yeah. that's the, the strange thing about yeah, yeah. I would say like you keep working for that moment, you keep working, keep working, yeah. and you're kind of not sure if anything's ever going to happen, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden it happens way faster and bigger yeah. than you thought of. <laughs> but it's kind of what you wanted as well. So yeah. then it's like the first month are just like, what? Oh my god! How you don't even know yeah. how it feels like <laughs> when it <laughs> becomes true yeah. and. Um, then you make the move, like Oliver said, we just moved from Germany to LA, we rented a place here now. And so, yeah. So, now, how many concerts do you like, guys are like, how many concerts do you guys have already performed? I know you guys recently performed in Chicago. Yes. Uh, so, how was your, how, how was, how, how was it over there? <laughs> I'm sorry? How was it over there, like, performing? Oh, oh awesome. I, I love Chicago. It was our first time there. And, yeah, all, all these we played in, in, in Chicago, um, Devonport, Minneapolis, and, and Kansas City. Yep. Um, and yeah, as we said, our first time to these cities, so um, pretty exciting for us. And Chicago was actually the one we headlined. The other shows we played with a band called Highly Suspect. Oh my God, they're yeah. awesome. And, um, and so Chicago was, was yeah, they, they all were pretty pretty great it, I, I kind of feel like our music gets appreciated you know yeah, here. I was because because it's just I um, was totally amazed that we have yeah. fans I mean hi <laughs> <laughs> yeah can we thank <laughs> So cool! <laughs> really, like, like where where was it in Minneapolis when a, a radio station like um they gave away meet and greets with us? That was in that was in Devonport. Devonport, thank you. I'm sorry. In what what cities? Um, yeah, yeah. So that, what, that was hilarious. When are you guys coming to San Francisco? Or you guys have the? Oh, we we hope so. But actually, the this tour that we played is is kind of over. It were only four dates. Mm -hmm. It was was named Communion Tour. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think they, this tour goes on, like, yeah, yeah. but they book different artists. And what we're going to do now is finishing our album. Like, yes. there's only one track left, mm -hmm. um, which needs its last work mm -hmm. to be done. And then we're heading back to New York, play a show over there. And yeah. it's, it's all pretty much planning right now. And the yeah. last month, we're setting up a lot of stuff. You know, moving here from Germany, being allowed to play shows. Yeah, that's yeah. our... And we're looking forward to to him radio stations oh, yeah. somewhere in January and and you know doing we're, we're doing so much promo stuff and and we've been showcasing a lot mm. like, over the last years uh, over the last year um, like playing showcases playing here and there playing for a label and it, and it all was super fun yeah yeah but which is the cool thing that now that we the first time we started to really play a yeah. fifty minute yeah. set <laughs> and nice. really have a party with the, with the people. That's that's awesome. Yeah. So, what's the like? You, this was your first tour, and any fan experience or reaction you guys face, which you guys will always remember. Yeah, I think I think one. You, you, do you want to hear a fan reaction about the tour or or? I think because actually yeah, Ali right. last all week, of it <laughs> two two days ago Ali um, showed me I think I think some friend some friend of him showed um, showed him that we actually have 
our first uh, YouTube cover of a song of a song radar. Some some guy, you know, mm. someone just <laughs> enjoyed right. the song, uh, you know, that much that he just wanted to, you know, play play all the instruments himself and sing it. And it's it's been really cool to to just see that, right? Yeah. It's just like <laughs> what? Yeah. It really feels out that, that someone does an own version of and that. And I think that's that's you know a level of you know feeling honored that you know someone does covers your song which is really like a big like fan um experience for us actually so yeah. any meet and greet like any physical like you saw a fan going crazy or something true story yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I, I don't know they all all those meet and greets like where especially when they from time to time they get like really personal and you really find out that how much it means to that person that how yeah. much the song meant to him and how yeah. much it means now to meet you mm -hmm. um, in person. But right now I only can think of personal stories which were inappropriate yeah. to tell right now, but it's always a, yeah. always a good feeling when you see the reaction and, and, and see that you touched yeah. someone's soul or heart. Yeah. Yeah. That is no, pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. So, so now that you see that your fans are, you know, like getting immersive with you, you know, they're like feeling your songs and, you know, using it for their girlfriends or feeling the feeling of that. Uh, so what songs have you guys been playing so far when you're performing? Like, uh, I know Lights Up, uh, are you guys playing Red R2 or any new single which is not out there yet? Oh, we're, playing, we're playing Lights Out and Radar for sure. Um, there's... Um, there's gonna be an EP uh, in in January, yeah. beginning of, like eighth, um, that will also feature like the two more like rocky songs of our album, um, which uh, it's gonna be um, "Give It Up" and "With Micro Sleep Cannot Be Avoided" is the other title of the, the other song. <laughs> we're also playing these two songs. I think we're always opening up with uh, "With Brief Micro Sleep Cannot Be Avoided," <laughs> so, um, uh, and we're playing a bunch of other songs um, that will be on a debut album so mm -hmm. and yeah yeah and sometimes we also play like depending on the length of the show we play some of the songs that influenced us yeah. which is always fun <laughs> like usually we we can't help but always need to play um that Jimi hendrix cover fire mm -hmm. yeah. Let's play it. Yeah. yeah that's really fun and so, time, to time we play another elvis song and yeah yeah it's fun so let me uh, so let me tell you something um probably this may be a surprise for you or maybe not but your song uh, was in one of the top ten list last week, um, and still is in the, the Spotify New Friday songs. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys know that. And the other thing is, your song has been trending, so it's uh, in one of the viral hits too. And we get all of those tracks. So we track every song. So, um, how do you feel about that? <laughs> oh my god! It's just I. It, I, I had goosebumps I, when you kept I talking. No, about I, I got no words for that. Cause, yeah, it's like it's amazing just to you know to see that people enjoy it. Just, it's like I I, I can. Oh, I I'm also missing the words to say. Yeah. <laughs> so let me tell you one more thing. So we so uh, we have editors, right? So then we always call them. We're like, okay, these are the songs. Let's listen. Yeah. And they also bring their families too. You know, like kids and all. And the reaction we got was they're like they can be the next Maroon Five. <laughs> so how do you feel about it that's that's something i was like huh hmm, that would be interesting well first of all that's that's a big compliment because because maroon five is a very successful band with, with with you know with great songs um i think i think we're kind of more on on the more like gritty side than them and it's definitely not like not our top like influence actually but you know it's probably because of my voice so, so but yeah 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 we have something in common of course yeah. and they have <laughs> always great hooks and so that comparison totally totally works for us although yeah. if you would ask us we would probably say rather something like it's a mixture of justin timberlake and a rock band like foo fighters or yeah i don't know something <laughs> but but Maroon mm -hmm. Five, why not? <laughs> great, great, great that's, a, that's a big compliment. Yeah, thanks. So, 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 what's next? Like now, you guys know you guys are going wow. People are talking about you. People are taking. People are covering you. The next thing is probably, I don't know, man. Probably world tour and you know more. Like you guys will be live on Macy's show. You know they have the yearly show too. So, iHeartRadio. So, 
what's the next thing for audio dam that's the question oh my god um besides well, the single you told us so. yeah well we're, we're, we're gonna finish our album is like almost we're on the last track actually right right now so and on the last mixes so that's that's the project for the next few days at least and then we keep know, preparing for getting direct yeah, again like playing shows again Hitting yeah. the people directly and, and having a lot of good parties, I think. Yeah, yeah, and every day, because every day... Like concerts, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Something new coming along, so it's, you know, it's really hard to say. But I think our album being finished and, you know, keep on writing um, and use new material and, and, and all that stuff, and, and hopefully we'll get to the next tour as soon as possible and, and you know... Yeah, and right now, actually, to be honest kind of made the decision like we have no idea what to expect it's all too big <laughs> yeah. and going way too fast for human brain like so we just kind of decided to jump into there and just do our best yeah. from the bottom of our heart lie in there the best we can with bringing out our music yeah. there and just see where it goes and and with, you know then we take it from there and, and it's hoping a, yeah. to have still a good time yep. and it's amazing and we're so thankful for you know feeling so honored that you know people react to our songs that way that's just you know if we want to if, if we're able to make someone stay you know slightly mm -hmm. better that's you know it's amazing for us so do you guys have anything for your fans any words for them stay true take care of yourself yeah <laughs> and really hope to see you soon guys yeah hoping to see you soon it's you know, come on it's enjoy our music um, label probably wants us to say follow us on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff. <laughs> not, um, not only our label, check it, check it out. <laughs> Instagram and you, you, you find us all over. It's just audio them because yeah. no, no that, one, no, no one wanted to choose that name before. <laughs> that, that, that was actually a stupid joke. We, we actually in, in, interact like a lot on on social media. So we we, we answer, we, we post stuff, and we we're glad if someone writes us. You know, we're happy to, you know, have conversations and all that stuff. Yep. Yeah. See you soon.